Hi and welcome back to Bike Speed. So this week we're talking lubricants, greases and oils. This is just our take on regular servicing and why we use each of the greases and things that we use. First up we had the lubricant spray there, great for a little blast of lubricant if you need it where you can't get in more precise. You have the mineral oil brake fluid, it is exactly that, it's the fluid that goes in your hydraulic brakes. We don't really use that in the servicing, certainly not on the one we're showing here. Then we have the silicon grease, which was the third one along from the right, that we use on rubbers, etc. We have the copper slip with an applicator, which we'll explain shortly. We have the multi-purpose grease, which we'll also explain shortly. Then we have those two hub greases, which again we're not using today, but they're for your free hubs, servicing, etc. Then we have a nice thin oil here with an applicator and a syringe. We have the Shimano Premium Grease. This we use for all our bearing work and spring work. And then one other thing we do have is we actually have three different types of Loctite, different strengths for different jobs. But we use this just to hold threaded bolts together. Anything that you're greasing or oiling, you actually need to clean off the old grease oil before you put yours on because without doing that, you haven't really serviced it. So we always use a water-based degreaser in an ultrasonic cleaner. We clean the part in that, then we wash it off afterwards. Some people just put water in their ultrasonic cleaner, but we do put a degreaser in. So you can see here on this bottom bracket, the old grease has almost gone like putty. It's gone very thick and it's that you need to clean off before you re-grease. For the purpose of this video, we've done everything on the bench. We don't always do it like that. Generally we do parts as they go and they go onto the bike. So we'll do a wheel, we'll do a bottom bracket, it'll all be threaded in. But just to show you how we do things, how we deal with things, we just put stuff together on the bench here, just to sort of explain our process and thoughts. So the thought is, there is a scale that you can download off the internet where you get a thing called dissimilar metals. And stainless steel, like on this thread on this pedal here, against aluminium, if you induce a corrosive, such as water or salt, which is something all us cyclists deal with on the roads in the winter, you can actually create a chemical reaction between those two metals that causes corrosion. But one of the biggest players in that is stainless steel against aluminium. It's one of the biggest corrosive inducers there is. So we're always trying to protect a bike from corrosion. So whenever we're putting stainless steel into aluminium, we tend to put copper slip against it because that protects the thread and stops that chemical reaction happening. White grease like this, we tend to use on any moving part or part that's gonna slide in and out. Then copper slip on any thread, especially where there's dissimilar metals. Loctite as we just fit in there to stop any threads coming undone that may. So in the case of this, the little fittings here for the derailleur are, are Loctite to stop them coming undone. The pivots in the jockey wheels there, we use white grease. Now we're using an oil because these are pivot points so anything with a, a roller, chain rollers, pivot points like this we're using a nice thin oil just to give them a little bit of lubricant on that pivot and then we use Shimano grease mainly on derailleurs like this because it's what Shimano would have originally used so we like to keep some form of continuity from old and new. Now again as I was saying a thread so it's copper slip because if this is Going into the bike, aluminium frame, it would certainly end up corroding in and being very hard to undo next time. Again, on the, the bolts that hold that bottom bracket in, copper slip. Then with the bearing races, we always use the Shimano Premium Grease for any bearing work. That's what we're doing there around the, the freshly cleaned bearings. So they would then sit like this inside the frame. And then we use white grease because this is a compressed piece of metal against metal that's held in with the bolt. So we'll just use white grease on metal to metal parts like that. So threads, copper slip, metal to metal white grease, moving parts, thin oil. It's sort of a, I mean, there are various different arguments and schools of thought on your lubricants, but this is just the way that we use that works for us. Now most quick release skewers, not actually in this case, but most modern ones, this shaft is stainless steel and usually most wheel hubs are aluminium. So again, it's a very, very big corrosion inducer that can really seize up. So white grease on that shaft, copper slip on the threads. Again, a little bit of Shimano grease on the springs. That would be how we would put together a quick release skewer. A little bit of lubricant oil on the actual arm of itself. Here we're using the silicon grease on those plastic posts because they're a sliding part. So we'd use the silicon grease on 
rubber caps that are on wheels, O-rings, etc. in forks. So anything that's rubber based generally we use the silicon grease. And now with this wheel, you'll see we just clean this up. We use a chain cleaner to clean them off, a little magnet to pull all the old bearings out. You can see how they've, they've got like a thicker browny discolored grease there and you can see here how thick that has gone. All greases will deteriorate with age, especially when you get a little bit of road film induced in there. It will thicken them up and they will deteriorate with age. So that's why you need to regularly service a bike. The greases we use are all at the high end of the grease scale. So once they have all been serviced and greased, you know that the, the bike will actually service better next time because you should do this regularly with, you know, yearly, bi-yearly, depending on your mileage. But, you know, a bike should never sit in its own grease for decades. This is actually an old 80s bike. And although we have serviced this bike at some point in the past, I'm not sure quite the extent of the work we did. It was definitely overdue a grease service and bearing and hubs all being cleaned up on this lovely old bike. So we're just cleaning up the cups there. We used a little bit of wire wool because that will get right in the depths and really cleans up things nicely. And then again on this hub, because we're threading on these caps and things, I don't actually use copper slip on this at this point. I will just use a normal white grease because they're locked up against each other and that will protect just the same as the copper slip. It'll actually make the rebuild process a little bit easier. So again, you can see the Shimano Premium grease inside the wheel bearings there. I prefer this, you can get like a white lithium grease that's regularly sold. In fact, we even sell it ourselves, but I'm not a fan of using that for my customer servicing. I, I like to use the Shimano grease, it's just a much, it's just slightly thicker in that it holds the bearings nicer when you put things back together. It's just a much nicer feeling grease when the wheel's spinning as well. It doesn't wash out so much as the lithium, white lithium greases. You can see we've got that wheel back together there. We're just putting the headset bearings back together again. Again, Shimano lithium grease on the bearings, everything cleaned up. These fittings on this bike, this is an old 80s bike, and it, oh, it's lovely, it is the, the quality of the parts on it. It's just the engineering in these older bikes is just fantastic, really. I mean, modern bikes are great, but it's the, it's the detailing on these old, older bikes that is just out of this world, really. So now you can see we've got that cup there ready to go into the bottom bracket. And that is actually the one where you can get an awful lot of corrosion in that bottom bracket because you get a lot of water washed down frames and, and collect in the bottom bracket, modern bikes or old bikes, and that can make them very hard to reservice. So if you grease them up nicely, you get that spot on. So now you can see we're oiling the chain. You actually need to oil the rollers, not the chain itself. So this is a before and after. And thanks for watching.